It is written. Hey everyone, it's Christina. So today I have a self tanning video for you guys. You know I love to self tan, spray tans, self tanners at home, all of that jazz. I'm 24 and I've done self tanners since I was about 15 or 16 since high school. So I've definitely done a fair share of self tanners. As you can tell, I have a lot of products. I've tried the ones from the drugstore. I've tried the high end ones from Sephora. I've tried the spray tans from my salon, everything like that. So I'm gonna do a little demo for you guys and show you how to self tan at home and also give you some tips and tricks that I've learned for myself, from my experience over the years because I know sometimes it can be a little intimidating if you've never done it, but even if you have done it before, maybe some of my tips will help you out so you can actually learn to do it better because the last time I did this video, it got a lot of views, but that was probably like 2011, so it's been a long time, it's been like three years since then, and I feel like I should be doing an update. So out of all those self tanners that I've tried over the last couple years on YouTube, this one here is definitely my favorite. It's from Tenseuticals, and I showed you guys this in one of my favorite videos, which was probably either March or April a few months ago, so I've definitely tried this over a few months, and I can tell you that I love the results. One, because it's natural. It's not orange like some of the other spray tans, Two, it doesn't smell bad. It smells really, really good. It's kind of like vanilla ice cream or something like that. I even showed this to my mom to smell, and she was like, yeah, it smells like ice cream or something, you know? Like, it smells good, because I know a lot of spray tans out there have weird smells that kind of, you know, are off-putting to some people. And then three, I love it because it's not dark when you apply it. Like, it does have a little bit of a tinge of color, like a tiny bit, so that way you can at least see where you're applying it, but it's not, like black or brown you know what I mean it's a very light color it's not white so it does have a bit of a color guard but it's not brown because that's very scary looking if you're applying it during the day and not at night and if even if you are applying it at night and you're like going to bed with your boyfriend or husband it can be a little bit weird because like my boyfriend knows a spray tan and a self tan but when I was staying over at his house uh, a few times I brought a self tanner with me and I would like apply it before bed and he was just like, uh, what are you doing? That looks like mud. It looks like you're rubbing mud all over yourself. It was just like scary looking. He was just like, okay. And then he was like, and then in the morning, my side of the bed was like orange, the sheets. And he was like, you're getting my bed orange. And even though you know it's going to come out, he was just like, yeah, I don't really like your stuffed dinners at all. So I really like this one because it's clear. When he saw me applying this and he was like, what are you doing? I was like, no, 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 it's clear. It's clear, I promise. He, he was like, good. <laughs> like, I don't want my bed to be orange again. You know what I mean? Not that he like really cares, but still, you know what I mean? It's just kind of annoying. Plus, if you do that during the day, like if you want to apply a bit of color before you're going somewhere, you have to mix it with a moisturizer if it's super dark or you're just going to look weird. Like, you have mud on your, you know what I mean? It's just not good. So those reasons are what I feel like sets this one apart from the rest that I've tried. And for the price, you can't really beat it because this used to be like $32, but now on their website it's like $25, it's like $24.95 or whatever. Plus if you get the mints, it's about $5.95, so together it's like $30 and they have free shipping for orders over $30, so you do get free shipping with that. And this goes a long way, honestly. I would maybe use this much for the whole body and face for one application. So this will last you quite a few times versus like a spray tan at a salon that is normally like $20, $30 for just one session, you know what I mean? It adds up for sure. And we all know we want to be like glowing and then a lot of people don't like self tanners because they think that it's going to be heat orange, but I mean I did it yesterday, like do I look orange? No, I just look like I have a tan. That's what I like about this. this very natural and you can build it up so it's not going to be like in your face dark right away you can do one application if it's not enough do another one in a few hours or the next day and you can kind of build it up and get more tan just like you would naturally you know the more you go to the beach the tanner you get so now for the tips and tricks for before during and after so before you self tan always 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 exfoliate please I cannot stress this enough I've had girls like my friends in real life come up to me and always tell me different problems they've had with like the self tanners or the spray tans at the salon and they're always like oh my god I was streaky or I was patchy and blah 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 and I'm just like did you use a scrub before you did it and they're like no why would I do that and I'm like really just no like okay think about it like this your skin has a lot of layers in it so the very top is going to be the oldest layer it's going to be some dry patches some dead skin cells or whatever and this adheres to the dry 
driest patches basically to this dead skin cells which the top layer is pretty much like the dead skin cells all of it but you want to take the very very driest patches off so you want it to be even so it's kind of like uneven some are new cells some are dry dead you want to take a scrub and take all of that off so it's all one even layer because once those dead skin cells shed you'll have a new layer under it but then you'll still have the other ones that are tan and you're just gonna have like this uneven kind of patch you know what I mean you want to make sure you exfoliate to make the top layer smooth and even throughout and then apply the self tanner so the top layer is all smooth and tan everywhere and it's completely even you know no patches or anything like that and my favorite scrubs personally for the body I use the julep one and then for my face I like the lush dark angels which I will link both of them down below but I also have a video where I make um, a DIY scrub like how you can make one at home very easily for very cheap if you're in a budget so if you want to see that I will link it down below for you so make sure you exfoliate because not only will you not be patchy but also your self tan will just last a lot longer then when you do apply the self tanner take some cream and make it act as a barrier so by that I mean put it onto your driest patches like your elbows your knees the bottoms of your feet and your palms unless you're using a mitt but even in that case you can still apply it on your palms because you'll be putting the self tanner on the other side and the reason for that is because this skin here is a lot drier and it's just a different texture and the self tanner adheres to here a lot more like literally I had the mistake one time in high school where my friend and I we applied the self tanner with our palms everywhere and we did not wash them and the next day here we were tan and here it was like literally black it was not even close to the rest of our body it was horrible like it just looked so bad and there is no way to get it off unless you actually like scrub it so hard you scrub it raw it's just you have to wait you know what I mean and there's some ways to get off an uneven tan like with some lemon juice and sugar scrubs and stuff like that but we don't want to get to that point right so just take some cream apply it right here and then you can either put on like latex gloves or this mint. This is what I actually used at this time. And this is the Tanceuticals Velour Mint, which I really like because the velour material will make sure that everything is even throughout. Because the latex gloves, I've used them before and they could be like a little bit streaky. And then if you just use your palms, um, you could do that. That's like the last option. But you do have to wash your hands afterwards. And sometimes if the water touches right here, you first of all have to be careful so you don't wash the tops. But then the little spots where the water does touch, like in between your fingers, they will get really, really dark. And you just have to make sure that you dry them off. And it's just like a pain in the butt a little bit. So I would definitely recommend using the mint. This will make sure your tan will apply a lot more even than if you use the gloves or your bare hands. So here I'm going to insert a little demo of me applying the self tanner to my body. This time I didn't apply it to my face because I had to go and do some things, but then I actually came back and did a second layer where I applied it to my face. And that's what you see right now on me. And this is two layers of the self tanner. So make sure you apply it everywhere evenly. And as you can see, I can reach my back. But if you can't, then just ask somebody to help you so that way your back is not going to be white and you're going to be tan in the front. So you don't want that. And afterwards, you just want to make sure to dry it all off. Don't like put clothes on right away or lay it down. Just make sure to let it dry a little bit. And that's what I also like about this self tanner is that it's not sticky and it does not take forever to dry because it's more of a runny texture and that's what I found I like the most because if you have the self tanner creams that are a lot thicker they take a lot longer to dry off and it just kind of you know prevents you from putting clothes on and going about your business and it's just a little bit annoying but this one doesn't do that so then after it's dry usually I like to go to bed you know because this does take about six to eight hours to develop that means that your tan is going to come out right away and the best way to do this is just to go to bed in loose clothes or just like with no clothes Whatsoever. But if you do have to go somewhere during the day, one, make sure that you don't wear white because you don't want any self tanner to rub off in your clothes and be obvious. Like, yes, it will come out in the wash. It's not permanent, but still. And then two, make sure you wear loose fitting clothes. Don't wear anything tight because that will kind of rub off your tan. Like if you wear a tight bra or like a tight shirt, just anything tight jeans, just make sure to wear like a t-shirt or some sweatpants or something like that. Just very casual, you know what I mean? And then three, do not get wet. Like, just don't. If it's raining outside, get an umbrella. If, you know, your friends are like, hey, let's go swim in a pool, just go lay out or just don't go because you don't want to get wet. Like, your tan is going to be uneven if you do that because it's just going to wash off. Like, just the best thing to do is just to be careful, you know, or just to go to bed while you do, after you do this. So what I 
do is after I've applied this at night, I go to bed and then I wake up and I have the self tan already developed and it looks very nice and golden and bronze. It doesn't look orange, it doesn't look streaky and brown. And then I go into the shower and just wash off the barrier, kind of like the top layer, the color guard or whatever, but then afterwards the tan is still left over in your skin. So this is not a bronzer. That's the difference between a bronzer and a self tanner if you didn't know. A bronzer is something that you put on, like a, it could be like a little spray, you know, like one of those Silly Hansen like airbrush like sprays, or it could just be like a lotion with, you know, bronzer in it. But, and yes, it will look nice, but as soon as you go to shower, it'll wash off. It's not permanent. That's a bronzer. A self tanner will actually last in your body, and for me personally, it lasts about five to seven days, depending on your own skin type. Because some people, their skin renews a lot faster than others. It also depends how you take care of your tan. And that's my next point: is that you have to moisturize. A lot of people don't maintain that step. Um, I know some of my friends have not done that before, and they have problems. I've had that problem too when I was a lot younger. I had these patches right here on the inside of my elbows, where I would have like this white patch, and the rest of the would be and I'm like, you know, what the heck? But honestly, you have to moisturize because the dry skin will start shedding. You will just have these uneven patches everywhere. You don't want that. So make sure to get a good moisturizer and moisturize all over your body. And of course, your face. You know, you want to have a good face cream as well. And yes, by the way, I did apply this to my face if I haven't mentioned that already. Um, I apply this everywhere my body and face. Some people ask me if I use two different ones from body and face. No, like my face is not sensitive. I don't have sensitive skin. So yes, I can apply this with no problem. I did not break out from this. It was just fine. And yes, I did go ahead and apply this the second time around. As you saw my demo. And yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. So I hope my tips and tricks helped you guys. And definitely go ahead and check out the self tanner because it's awesome. I will link their website down below for you guys. It's tanceuticals.com. It's totally worth it, especially for the price I've seen some self tanners go up to like $50 per bottle, you know, which is a bit ridiculous. And yes, you can use it a few times, but still, this for $25 bucks plus the mint for $30 plus for shipping is really affordable, I think, for considering that you will get a lot of use out of it. It's not just one time. And by the way, mine is in dark if I haven't mentioned it, and the bottle is 4.2 fluid ounces. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please subscribe and also check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and my blog. And by the way, I will make a post on my blog about what I'm wearing. Like if you're interested in my makeup or my hair or my dress or anything like that, my pretty slits, I will have all the details on there and I will link it down below in the info box. So check it out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey everyone, today I have two unboxings for you guys and a giveaway. So you might remember that I've been subscribed to Mingo Box for about So I just wanted to put up this video really quickly and tell you about a giveaway for brushes. I will be having two winners that will get a $50 gift card each to get some awesome quality brushes from Diva Beauty. And you might remember these from my tutorial that I did for my Lana Del Rey inspired makeup. If you haven't 